Hello and welcome to a new video about my motor controller, my NQTT motor controller. Last time we managed to store SSID and password inside inside the the EEPROM of our ESP32. Today we really want to connect to to Wi-Fi. All right. So we already prepared Wi-Fi. Uh, Actually, what I want to have, I want to have a status byte, right? So I want to have a byte where a store should Wi-Fi be connected or shouldn't it be connected, yeah? so that I can turn off and on Wi-Fi. Yeah? So actually, uh, I will produce now this status. Yeah? So I will say, okay, I have a byte somewhere, status byte. I will define some positions uh, connect Wi-Fi should be bit number zero all right connect Wi-Fi should be if bit number zero is set I want to connect to Wi-Fi if it's not set I don't want to connect to Wi-Fi then I want to have uh, start Wi-Fi connected this is reflected by bit number one, if Wi-Fi is connected or not, and connecting if I'm currently in connecting process. I think this should be sufficient. Yeah? That's the status byte. All right. Uh, What do we need? Uh, well, here, in Wi-Fi callback, there is also a case. Hmm, the status. I will store the status in, in the EPROMOS as well. So I will define here, define offset status. I want to have this as well inside so that it is as before if I turn on. Yeah, if somebody turned off Wi-Fi, it should turn, be turned off. If somebody has turned on Wi-Fi, it should be turned on even on reboot. So this is uh, actually in, in, in setup. I need to read this, right? So I need to read this in setup that We get it out, so this is everything is good. Pin mode, let's do it. I don't know, here. Uh, why not? Does not really matter. Does not really matter. So, ebro dot get. Offset status. Status byte. I'm reading this out from the EEPROM. All right. And do I want to? Ah, let's see. Now we get. Now we get it done. We're both a common. Now we make a conditional output. If debug output. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should show you how Webose is working. Okay, so here in Webose we have two levels. We have debug output and we have info output. Yeah. And we have uh, six different areas. Yeah. So we can have, I don't know, uh, status. Where would this be? Control would be nice. Control. Okay, so in control, we can have info output or debug output. Yeah? So if it turned on control and turned on debug, we get debug output. If it's turned on control and turned out info, we get info output. All right? If it's not turned on control, but set info and debug, nothing is coming out. Okay? So, uh, let's say we're using control. Uh, what was this? 
verb control. We want, if we have debug set and control set, we want to make an output here. Zero print. Read, read status of EEPROM zero dot print and here we write uh, the status byte and in binary format so that they have zeros and ones right that's good we are sure we call up here we call disconnect so we are sure we're not connected and we are sure we're not connecting so i will delete this yeah so we i will make a bit clear data spite Wi-Fi connecting and we will also clear Wi-Fi connected all right and then I will put a second output here would be print line possible good data spite after clear out all right good and we want to set the status byte there is actually there is a case yeah? turn on wi-fi or turn off wi-fi yeah so here we make a new case in the wi-fi callback wi-fi callback and the thing is connected uh, Wi-Fi connect if it should be connect I will set the bit in the status bit status byte status byte and connect Wi-Fi okay I will set this bit and of course I have to write it also to the EEPROM. EEPROM.PUT offset status status byte and uh, in in the ESP32 we always has to to call commit also because then it's not stored. If there's no commit it's not stored break okay then I will use there is also a callback which is called disconnect and I will not call it here bit set but bit clear status bit right good Good. So we can now select if we want to connect to Wi-Fi or not. Good. Down here, we have to check the check hmm. to check if Wi-Fi should be connected or not, or is already connected. I will use a timeout. Okay. I will add a library. If this is working, timeout. We had this library also before, so I will use a timeout. And I will call it uh, check and a Wi Fi check time. 
and initially this should be 500 milliseconds. Why not? Uh, I for check that. Here, if Wi-Fi check time punkt timed out. This means 500 milliseconds has passed. Yeah. What should I do here? Yeah. Well, it depends. If bit read from status from status byte, which bit uh, start Wi-Fi connect Wi-Fi, this was this, if we want to connect to Wi-Fi, that's this case, other, that's this case, we do not want to be connected to Wi-Fi, we want to be connected to Wi-Fi. Good. What what if we want to be connected? Yeah? If again this but net status connected and if we believe we are connected. This means we believe we are connected. We believe we want to be connected to Wi-Fi. We believe we are connected. Yeah. And here we believe we are not connected but want to be connected. Comments are always good, yeah, especially if they're getting bigger, those if if things and so on. So now in case we are connected, in case we want we want to be connected and we believe we are connected, what can we do? We check. Yeah, we check the Wi-Fi status. Wi-Fi dot status. If this is not connected. This is actually a function. And this is not connected. We believe we are connected, but we are not connected. Wi-Fi tells us we are not connected. Then we must do a bit clear. Yeah? Exactly this. We are not connected. Good. We are not connected. Ah, uh, Wi-Fi, check time, set timeout, I don't know, 500. We have now cleared the Wi-Fi connection. Yeah? So, and now again, if verb repose Wi-Fi, The debug is turned on uh, and we call it connection. Communication, this is good. Verb communication. Zero.print, we print out a message. Okay. Status of Wi Fi connect connection. Did not fit. Shall be connected, but is zero dot print line, and I will print the Wi-Fi status. Then we have a debug output available. 
All right, that's it. I think that's it. If we want to be connected. We think we are connected, but we are not connected. We clear the bit, and that's it. Else, we want to be connected and are connected. Everything is all right. What is this? I think we are fine. Wi-Fi check time. Set timeout. In this case, it's the normal case. Let's check it every two seconds. Why not? And in this case, we will also set what is the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi LED. We also set the Wi-Fi LED to high. Right would be the correct. Okay, so we are connected. We let the let the thing be. If we are connected and believe we are not connected, what should we do? We call a function. It's called connect Wi-Fi. This function we will do. This We'll set up here. I will just make a void connect Wi Fi currently, it does nothing, it's just prepared. So, we want to connect to Wi Fi then. Good. Else, we do not want to be connected to Wi Fi. In this case, in the same case. If we believe we're connected, this is uh, just copy this. In this case, if you don't want to be connected and are not connected, yeah, it's also fine. I will also set the Wi-Fi check time. I'll use simply the same, same as here. But this then we will turn off the LED. If we are... Ah, it's not that easy. Oh, I need to think a little bit. However, if we are connected, if we believe we are connected, we say it's Wi-Fi dot disconnect. We disconnect the Wi-Fi and we clear the bit. We, we clear the, the status bit. status bit connected and what else we need to also set the timeout ah the next thing we will get here Let's check here. We believe we are not connected and we don't want to be connected. Let's check if we are really disconnected. This is the thing it is missing. Yeah? So we have Wi-Fi dot 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 status. If this does not fail, we are disconnected. And 
Wi-Fi dot status. No shield. So if we are not disconnected, this is actually the good part here. We are disconnected and want it to be. Everything is all right. And here, this one, uh, we are connected. This means we are connected. So I will set the bit exactly this, that in to indicate that we are connected. And <clears throat> check in a half second again and digital right this is the correct uh, Wi-Fi LED We set it to high. And we of course also do an error output output. Output. <laughs> this one exactly the same. Shall be disconnected, but is put out the status. <clears throat> okay, so actually we should automatically call the connect Wi-Fi function so that we want to connect to Wi-Fi. The rest will be handled here and all other things are periodically check the connection if we are still connected or not and output an error message. And in connect Wi-Fi, what do we have to do there? Okay. Now we really start. Let's see. First thing we have to check if bit read. Status byte and connecting. If we believe we are connecting. We are connecting to Wi-Fi. Else, we are not connecting to Wi-Fi. Let's first check this, what shall happen if we are not connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, if somebody called us, we need to connect to Wi-Fi, but we are not connecting to Wi-Fi. All right? So, if Wi-Fi Check time. Punkt timed out. We don't want to always say, hey, connect, 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 only after a while. I will use here two strings and I will get them. Yeah? Wi Fi SSID. Get string, and here's the address of the SSID. And of course, it's the correct. And Wi Fi pass. Get string, and it's pass. Now we retrieving from EEPROM. This the string SSID and the string for password. Okay. 
and now we could print this out if we have proper if we have information let's say information uh, on on communication if we have an output we could write try to connect to Connecting to, and then we also print the Wi Fi, the Wi Fi SSID. Good. That we know what we read out. Eh? Okay, and then we call simply Wi Fi dot begin. And we use the SSID, we use the C string variant and the pass, we also use the C string variant because Wi-Fi cannot deal with uh, the object string. We have to hand over a C type string, so I'm using this. And now I set the bit, this one, status bit connecting. We're indicating we are connecting. Okay, so here we should only be once. Wi-Fi, check time, set timeout, and in half a second we will check if we have already connected. That's this part. If we are, now we started to connect to Wi-Fi. And here, if Wi-Fi dot status is not equal connected we are connected to Wi-Fi is this so here here would can we would be inside if we are already connected so Let's say uh, Wi-Fi check time, timed out. What do we put out? If if this is again, if there is, we make a message. Yeah, now we found it. Yeah, we say connected that's good I think that is the only thing we have to to put out connected good uh, we could also write digital write Wi-Fi LED Hi, now we are connected, we know we are here and we make of course a bit set uh, in the status status byte Beistrich start Wi-Fi connected and we make a bit clear Start Wi-Fi connecting. So we are not connecting. We are not connecting anymore. We are connected. Okay, that's this. And what if we 
are connecting but are not yet connected. Uh, Well, if I check them, done that, we will simply display some, some things. Here, if this communication is turned on, we will print out dots. Passed. Huh? Looking funny. And I also want to have this LED blinking. So I'm going to use a static. Zero. and I will do it here I plus plus and I say if I percent two digital right Wi-Fi LED high else low. So this should then blink. Yeah? And I also have to set, of course, the Wi-Fi check time, set timeout again to 500. Did we get this? Yeah? And here, where I set the connecting, I will set this I to zero. Try to connect to zero begin. Yes, this is a good position. Okay. Okay. Phew. It was quite some work. Now let's try. Check it if this is working. Yeah. Let's download this. Connecting to test SSID. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what I do not like, starting up, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so I have to clear some things up here. Yeah. So, starting up must be print line. What was also after clear out? Here, must also be print line. And I'm always writing dot, 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 dot. I don't like this. I don't like this. I have to check I somehow. It seems to work. Uh, it seems to work at least, is the LED is also blinking. So this is good, this is good, but I have to check I. And I will define here somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere here. Define max Wi-Fi retries. Let's set it to 20. Then I will not set zero here. I will use here. I will go start here and I will say if I is bigger than max Wi-Fi retries. I will set I to zero. Yeah. Then I will say Wi-Fi dot disconnect. 
I will make a bit clear connecting. I will set the Wi-Fi. Check time. Here's the Wi-Fi. Check time. Dot time. Set time out. And now I really have to wait because I could not connect. So I'm waiting a little bit longer. Yeah. And then if This is info. I will write print line could not connect. Could not could not connect. Okay, let's try if this is this is working. that we are indicating that we are not able to connect, yeah? that we are stopping to try to connect and after a while start again. Okay, looking good. Connect to SSID, we make the dots, could not connect and we are waiting. Yeah? Test SSID. We make the dots. Okay, this is working. Yeah. So, but now get where pose. I think it's one. What is this? Wi-Fi. Right. You see, everything is set. Yeah. If we say, uh, stop. Info one. Informational output. Then we cannot see anything. This is how you can turn off and on. You see, the informational output is now away, yeah, and there is no output anymore because this we only turn on on information output, yeah, and communication output. Now we get the post. Now I have also cancelled the communication output. I can even turn on can even turn on the the information output again yeah we see nothing why because the communication output is off yeah so now again we see the dots now the dots are coming again because we turned on communication and informational output this is how you can control how much output you want to have yeah, this is the, the reason for this repository because every output line takes some time and if you don't want to waste time turn off the output but sometimes you need the output then turn it on all right this is this is this repository levels and now I will put in my real my real uh, SSRT I think I put in my real <laughs> connected. Oh, and it's turned on. It's turned on. It's turned on. Okay. So, if I do now Wi Fi off, it should be. It is off. Okay. And now. I say Wi-Fi on, connecting, connected. Okay, Wi-Fi on, Wi-Fi off is also working. However, I just now I realized I had I have an error here. So if the SSID has changed, whew, 
if the SSID has changed. What does it mean, actually, if the SSID has changed? I have to disconnect. I have to disconnect. Because if you are already connected, I will simply disconnect. The rest will be handled. The rest will be handled down there. If the password has checked, has changed, I also have to disconnect. Upload. Okay. Set SSID test Okay, try to connect. Good. Working. And now I will stop, stop the Wi Fi output because we are online now. Okay? So we are connected to Wi Fi with password and SSID saved in EEPROM. So we can, I can hand over this program without the fear that you have some information from me that I do not want to have you. Right? Good, 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 good. Yeah. Next step. Next step would be connect to MQTT. Okay. Now we are connected to Wi-Fi. Next step, connect to MQTT. Also two-step approach. First, add also parameter strings and so on for username, MQTT server, and so on. Uh, and then, well, next video then, connecting. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.